Hey everyone, this is John from designpanoply.com and today's tutorial is going to show you how to make a photo really pop in Lightroom 4. So this is the image we're going to be working with. It's an engagement photo. Um, and the first thing you'll notice is that it's a little washed out. The colors aren't very vibrant. Uh, it's a decent picture, but it's just not very striking. So we're going to see what we can do with that in Lightroom. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the white balance. You'll notice that the sun is up here in the left hand corner um, coming from behind. It's a little low in the sky so uh, this picture is probably taken sometime around sunset which naturally would be a little warmer looking. So we're going to increase our white balance just a little bit to make it a warmer image. Uh, probably something around 5400 is good you'll see it's a little warmer now next we're going to take a look at the tint um, the tint is at plus nine and that's probably because this image was taken around some trees which oftentimes will give your image a green look um, but it looks fine so we're going to leave it for now uh, next we're going to take a look at the highlights shadows whites and blacks like I mentioned at the beginning this image is a little washed out so we want to increase the contrast so we're going to take this black slider and just drag it down till it looks nice. And what we're actually going to do is go a little farther than that till it's a little bit dark. And then we're going to use the shadow slider here to bring back some of that detail in the shadows. And that looks pretty good. So already you can see that from the before picture to the after picture is much better changes already. Um, I'm also going to take the highlight slider and drag it down just a bit to bring back some details in the blown out parts of this image. Next we're going to go to the clarity slider which uh, it'll give your image kind of a sharper look but what it does is increases the local contrast between dark and light areas. This is one of the parts of Lightroom 4 that is dramatically better than Lightroom 3. Lightroom 3 tended to give your image halos, uh, little halos around dark and light areas if you increase this too much, but Lightroom 4 is much better. So we're just going to take that clarity slider, drag it up to about 50. That looks a lot better. The image is just a little sharper and the contrast is better. Next we're going to go down to the tone curve and we're going to drag this slider up uh, to the top because we only want to affect the highlights in the very brightest part of our image. So after you drag that up we're going to drag our highlights up to about 50 and what this does is brightens all the highlights in the brightest parts of the image without affecting uh, any of the rest of it. We're also going to change the point curve from linear to medium contrast to just give a little better contrast throughout the image. Next we'll head down to the detail panel and increase the sharpening just a bit from 25 which is the default to about 90 uh, just to make the image a little sharper. Finally we're going to head down to the effects panel and just give this a slight vignette um, we don't want it to be too noticeable, but by giving it a little vignette, it brings some of the focus to the subjects of the image. So we're just going to drag that down to about negative 20 or negative 25. And then we're going to change the midpoint to about 60, just so it affects the corners of the image rather than uh, the center of the image. Now, again, you can see the before picture here. It's washed out. Um, just not very vibrant and so far this is our image here there's just one more step that I want to show you that I do on a lot of my images that seems to give them more life and just gives them that extra touch so first we're gonna take the exposure down to negative 0.5 and you'll notice that the image is a little dark now so what we're gonna do to bring the couple back uh, up to the proper exposure is go to our adjustment brush and we're just going to paint a mask on this couple. It doesn't have to be too accurate uh, because this isn't this isn't a dramatic effect it's more subtle so as long as you get 
uh, a decent outline should be fine. If you want to delete any areas that you might have mispainted, simply hold down the Alt button and you can delete anywhere that you that you uh, painted by mistake or overpainted. So that looks pretty good. That's fine for what we're doing. So once you have that mask, you'll want to change the exposure on it to 0.5 to bring that uh, that area back up to the proper exposure. And what that does is just darkens the background a little bit so the subject stands out a little more. But um, it's not such a heavy effect that you can tell that it's been done. Uh, I can see a little a little halo effect around the darker parts of the image. So if you want, you can come back in and just uh, adjust your mask so it's a little less noticeable. And finally, the last thing I notice about this picture is the bottom's a lot darker than the top. So we're going to use a graduated filter and while we hold shift, we're going to drag from the bottom about two-thirds up the image and set that to about 0.5 just to brighten the bottom up a bit. So that's all. Again, if you look at the before image, um, nothing special. And then with just five minutes and a few changes to basic settings within Lightroom 4, you have the after. And it's just a much sharper, more vibrant, more contrasty image. Um, it just stands out a lot more. So. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below or let us know on Facebook and we'll do our best to answer those. And feel free to share this with your friends and we'll see you next time.